So in this video, we put Tester's dull coat up against a surprising challenger. Okay guys, gonna jump right in. I wanted to do a quick video on um, the Tester's dull coat uh, here on the left uh, and I wanted to show you one of the alternatives that I've found that works really well it's called Rust-Oleum Frosted Glass and uh, the testers uh, I know this can look strange but it is the actual dull coat there you go 1260 dull coat um, and this can cost uh, $4.99 at Hobby Lobby and I use the 40% off coupon almost every time I went just to get an extra can of this stuff but um, this was, um, like I said, the go-to for many people in the industry. So, uh, I stuck with it and I would try other things like Krylon and things like that. Um, but they never had, uh, matched up in my mind. Um, this is about a three ounce can. So you can see there on the bottom, three ounces and, um, 85 grams or whatever that means. Yeah. I'm American. Can you tell? Anyway, um, the the uh, three ounces for this again was four ninety nine at Hobby Lobby and then I went to this frosted glass and for three seventy five three dollars and seventy five cents you get almost twelve ounces so it's almost four times as much for uh, you know a dollar and a quarter less uh, on average um, the I will tell you the other reason that I don't like to use testers is uh, because uh, of the smell and uh, the smell can really get to you. And uh, it can cause problems, uh, respiration problems, and I don't like that at all. And um, um, supposedly there's a lot of literature out there about it causing cancer and things like that. So I'm sure if you breathe enough of any of this crap, then it'll give you, the, it'll give you some kind of problem. Um, but like I said, I went to the frosted glass, and it took a giant leap of faith uh, because, uh, like you, I'm sure... Um, like you're doing right now, I was like, wait, I'm not going to blast anything on a miniature that looks like it's going to be foggy. Um, I think we've all had um, instances of that in our painting career. But um, uh, so after taking a leap of faith, I did try the frosted glass uh, and I uh, shot it on one of my Imperial Guardsmen or Astra Militarum, whatever you want to call them. Um, and uh, I was really happy with the results. Now, because of the cost difference, I was already looking for something, hey, even if it's close, uh, then I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. But as it turns out, uh, not only was it close, but in my mind, uh, it actually uh, uh, did well, as well, or even uh, beat the Testress Dull Coat. So um, long story short, uh, here I'm going to show you some pictures of what goes on here. I apologize, this won't be a whole lot of video. I'll show you some video of me spraying. But um, at the same time, um, I'm never going to shoot that tester stuff again because um, I don't like the smell, like I said, and this other stuff's cheaper. And I've got a couple of cans of this testers left that I'm just going to eBay and get rid of uh, or try to you know, sell back or do whatever I can to get some credit. Um, because uh, I'm just not interested in that anymore. I have three small children, and I'm not going to put anybody's health at risk. So um, anyway, um, I'm going to keep moving here, and um, um, you can see kind of how I applied it, and then I'll show you some pictures here. Here are the two miniatures that I used um, to be able to do the um, experiment. The one on the left was the one with the higher... Uh, backpack is the one that I used with the testers and the one on the right is the one um, that I used with the frosted glass. Uh, the only thing that's been varnished so far here is the shoulder pads which were hard coated so that I could put on the decals. Um, so the next thing that I did I just uh, coated the whole thing with this testers gloss coat uh, now the gloss coat I don't really care about the brand with that. Um, I used to but to me, all of the gloss coats were about the same, so I'll use anything. But in this case, uh, for the gloss coat, I did use the uh, 1261 gloss coat from Testers. And here's the results of the gloss coat going on. This first guy, of course, the guy with the higher backpack. Uh, by the way, I used the higher backpack to remind me that this 
um, brand of testers cost more so that's why I use that on my experiment um, and here is the other one that's been gloss coated so they're equally shiny all over um, and uh, covered and protected now so here you can see I've, I've taken this out into this snowy winter wonderland which is Illinois um, and after putting the uh, testers uh, dull coat into a warm thing of water um, I went out and quickly sprayed the first miniature and now I'm doing the same thing with the frosted glass uh, I think I went across nine or ten times on each one um, just in different areas the light coat uh, one coat on each one of them which now brings us to some final um, pictures um, as you can see I put um, the can next to the one that I used here. Here's a picture of the testers result and here's a picture of the frosted glass. Uh, both of them have knocked uh, quite a bit of shine off of the miniatures so I was super happy with that. Uh, testers performed as it should uh, but I'm telling you frosted glass did a number. Here they are side by side. The one on the left, of course, is testers, and the one on the right is frosted glass. If you want to see uh, anything else, let me know. Um, but this was uh, the reason that I'm, I'm going to switch to frosted glass from now on. Uh, it's cheaper, it's more available, and um, there's a lot more of it in the tin. So there you have it. My take on the two um, varnishes. Uh, testers uh, did me well for a long time, and it's certainly a good product. Uh, I don't like the smell of it, and I don't like the cost of it. And I don't like the availability of it, um, but I was super happy to find this uh, frosted glass because the frosted glass works just as well and um, it will be my go-to from now on. And I hope you'll give it a try because it's certainly worth it. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. So this is Beckett. Um, say hi, Beckett. Hi. Okay, say, um, please subscribe to my dad's channel. Please subscribe to my dad's channel. Good enough. Good enough.